Hi, uh, I want to share a modification that I uh, made with my uh, Range Link UHF uh, system. As you know, North America, specifically in Canada, is getting colder now, and flying outside is uh, sometimes can become painful. So, what I did was to, and this is with uh, Sid's help on clarifying some wiring connections if you notice here i am feeding the range link uh, transmitter feeding power from a separate uh, 3s lipo and uh, the battery is going to v and ground going to the battery now the ppm wire and the ground wire this ground wire it's basically connected to here. This is an uh, RJ45 uh, port. If you're in the field of computers or networking, you know this port. And that's the RJ45 jack. I connected it to a 25 feet uh, telephone, uh, curly telephone wire. And I just hot glued that in there. Uh, show you, there you go. So that uh, you know, I don't accidentally pull it out. So the other end of this curly wire is going to the back of my 9x transmitter. See, there's another RJ45 port there, a data port that I hot glued onto this piece and uh, connected to the PPM and. Uh, ground at the back you can find uh, the the pin assignments on uh, the range link uh, manual so that's basically what I did separate power uh, the reason that was suggested by Sid because when I'm feeding power off from my transmitter to the range link transmitter when I go to high power it continuously beep and Sid suggested I feed this off uh, I feed the range link of a separate uh, 3S LiPo battery. So the idea here is this is on a tripod. So I could basically go, you know, 20 feet away and sit inside my car and uh, control the plane from my, you know, my, my, my LCD inside a car or a goggle or you know, goggles. But uh, you get the idea. I'm far from trans the transmitter. I'm inside a car. It's winter. I can still fly. So that's the reason why I uh, did this uh, modification.